Now you said that you also found, you found a, a rifle right next to the exit door. Did you have anyone stand by that rifle? About the time that we'd secured the people who had run out the door, um, myself and at least two to four other officers were now at the back door. Um, we could see that it was blocked open, so we said we're going to go in, cut right, cut left, and I grabbed one officer and said, watch the rifle, don't let anybody pick it up or kick it. Did you enter the theater? Yes. When you first walked into the theater through that exit door, what did you see? Um, there's an alcove there. It dead ends about five feet to the left and then opens up to the theater about two feet, three feet on the right. As soon as you opened the door and walked in, uh, pandemonium. There was gas in the air, CN or uh, tear gas, you might call it, uh, hit you immediately. Teared up, mucus formed, burned your face, burned your skin. But you could tell fairly quick what it was, or I could tell fairly quick what it was, and I knew it wasn't going to be incapacitating. It was just really uncomfortable. Um, it was dark. The movie was playing. Um, there was a siren going off intermittently and white strobe lights. As soon as you made entry into the theater room itself, you could see to the left and off to your right, there were people up and down, some in the seats, some screaming, some pointing. Um, the noise was such that you could not hear much of anything except for the, the sirens, the Claxtons. Had you been in a circumstance like this before in your career as a police officer? How would you describe then your ability to respond in the theater given all these things that were going on? Um, I guess I could only refer it back to some training we'd had and noise confusion was part of that training. I'm sure that helped. If I wanted someone to do someone, I had to grab them and tell them, yell at them, scream at them, take that exit, cover that side, go down this hallway. I should note that once we made it into the theater, once I came in the door, I saw officers to my left on the stairway starting to go up into the crowd area. So officers had made it in. Was it possible to be heard in the theater to talk to a person? To talk, no. Um, I could scream at people and they could figure out what I was saying, like cover, clear, that type of thing. But you had to yell and they had to be in front of you to, to be heard. Could you tell how many people, patrons, were in the theater at that time? Um, with the darkness and the strobes, I'd say probably at least 30 plus, and that's a guess. Um, my world is limited to short area around me and then objects far away. I saw an exit that I wanted covered. Um, I noticed that one hallway probably led to an, another exit, and then a hallway on the far side, I didn't know at this time, probably led to another exit. So I wanted those covered, cleared. Do you have any idea how many officers were in the theater at that point? Um, there were more coming in behind me, I could tell you that, and more coming down the hallway. Probably at least six to ten, and that's a guess. Once you got into the theater, and, and was your first goal to try to secure the exits? Secure the exits, uh, make sure that no one else is inside who's armed the best we can. Um, no one was shooting, so we figured there probably wasn't. Uh, my assumption was that the shooter that we probably had in the back hopefully was the only one. I know a statement had been made saying he was, but you're never quite sure. Um, at that point, it was just to secure the interior and then start getting people out. How did you get people out of the theater? People who could hear me or people who could hear the officers were told to get up, exit through the back doors. Um, as soon as they got outside, they were set down, told to sit down visually cleared for the most part, making sure they didn't look like a shooter, they weren't armed, that type of thing. Um, the ones that were moving, a lot of them had blood on them. As soon as we got them outside, you could tell that we needed to start some sort of triage.